Hey folks, and welcome back to KKR Renewables Metal Recovery Channel. We're going to continue with our Delta Pro Ultra review today with a really short video. I just wanted to show everyone progress so far, specifically around the, the battery balancing issue that I thought I was going to have. The way that you do that and the way that you know, there are two ways you know if your batteries are being balanced properly. The first way is there's a visual representation on the side of the batteries that show their state of charge. Here, I'll stitch in a video to show that right now. Uh, as you can see, the top battery is more charged than the lower two batteries. The second way you can see is with the app itself. It's really neat. It's not necessarily intuitive, but if you look in the center of the screen here, you'll see the 61%. If you tap on that circle, you get the battery states of charge. And you can see the temperature of each battery in the upper right-hand corner of the widget. On the left-hand side, the battery name and the battery capacity. As you can see, I've got 72% in the first battery, which is the very top battery and 12 days worth of runtime left. Uh, you can see also next to two widgets, you can see battery two and battery three. They are at 55 and 57%. They're a little cooler, I'm assuming, because heat rises. Um, that's maybe why we have the, the higher voltage, um, or, per, or I'm sorry, the higher temperature, or um, perhaps this one is just charging more frequently and the you know that that process of charging is heating the battery a little bit more i'm not really sure but i opened a support ticket with ecoflow and to be frank i really wasn't able to understand the response i think what they said was what i needed to do was set the battery minimums and maximums for charge and discharge to 100 for charge and zero for discharge, plug it into the AC and let it fully charge, fully discharge, and then fully charge it again. I think that's what they want me to do. I say I think because I really didn't understand the message. I think there's a little bit of a language barrier there, but we'll try to work through that. Now, I can also see that the battery one has this little lightning bolt within the green section of the battery. Looks like it's specifically trying to charge that battery, but not trying to charge the rest of them. And I don't know if that's because it's on just solar um, or not, but right now I'm charging with 219 watts of input on solar and 118 watts of output. This Delta Pro Ultra is an adjunct to my home electricity usage. I have a 1200 watt solar array that I've built myself for a previous build that I, that I did years ago. And the array does not put out full output because the panels are over 20 years old. Um, but nonetheless, they still are very functional and they still put out a good amount of wattage, they'll get up to anywhere to 715, 750 watts during the right time of the year. So uh, that has been that has been charging the Delta Pro Ultra during the day. And then at night, you see I have here in this, I have a scheduled task that has been configured to charge at the cheapest part of my day for my power. I limit the charge to 600 watts for three hours from midnight to 3 a.m. daily. If I click on that, you can see you can see the scheduled task definition. I love this app. We'll go into more of that in a different video. Um, this video I wanted to concentrate on specifically showing you guys the difference in the batteries as they are not very balanced at all. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow EcoPro's recommendations 
this weekend, and I will go ahead and take the hit on charging from AC, and I will attempt to completely battery balance these. I will provide an update on that video as soon as I'm done with it. All right, that's it for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll continue to share my Delta Pro Ultra journey.